Now listen, both of you. I've planned this very carefully, and I want no slip-ups. Tomorrow, I'm going to kill my wife. You must protect me. Save my life. I know him. He will stop at nothing. Mrs. Graham, we do our best to protect visitors. I want a 24-hour guard supply to Mrs. Graham. No one is to get near her. Sí, si, Comisionado Diez, seguramente. Thank you. travel agency at the Reforma. If Grace O'Connor isn't there, leave word for her to contact me the moment she comes in. Here comes a girl in love with the city. Oh, that's me, Grace O'Connor. On my way to a day's work, or maybe a day's adventure. You're never quite sure which it's going to be. You walk down the Paseo de la Reforma, in the most exciting city in the world, Mexico. the lobby that morning, I headed as usual for my travel office, little knowing that Adventure had already tried to reach me by telephone. Yes, that's right. Yes. We can book you straight through to Cairo. Well, the uh, first opening would be Wednesday on the 7.30 flight. afternoon flight is booked, but there might be a cancellation. Well, I can try and call you back in about an hour. I'll do my very best. You're welcome. Well, you were late again. You should have seen me this morning. I'd award you two headlights and an exhaust pipe. You take this to Mr. Gottfried in Sweet D and tell him I have a guide for him who can speak German. See. Si. Juan called. He said it was important. Dollars to donuts, I bet he wants me to spend the weekend in Tasco. Well, if you're too busy, I'll go. You're working this weekend. After a week of booking travel tours, I'll be darned if I'm going to travel anywhere. Come Friday night, you can make mine Mexico City. And to think that 15 years ago, I came to Mexico looking for romance and adventure. Well, it's been a long look, and all I got was weak eyes. Juan Diaz, please. Grace O'Connor. Reel in your antenna. I'll tell you what he says. Hello, Juan. Grace. Isn't this a little early in the morning? I wish this was a social call, but it isn't. Frankly, Grace, I need your help. Could you meet me in Chapultepec Park uh, near the lake? <laughs> Top secret stuff again. I'll bring the cloak if you bring the dagger. Just bring your list of passengers arriving on flight 635 at 11.30. Sounds important. It is. Couldn't I just drop by your office on my way to the airport? No. Chapultepec would be safest. You might be seen. I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Déjala yo a mí primero. Ahora, déjala. Déjala. Suéltala. Suéltala. Déjala. 
Oye, Pepe, Alfredo. Hey, I went with Alfredo yesterday. We'll take all the shortcuts, and this time I'll promise you not even a flat tire. I wish you hadn't said that. ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice? Dime qué dice, hombre. Quiero saber qué dice. Espera tú, me aplácate. Do you have a spare tire, or should I ask? Uh, that's a spare that is flat. However, I always carry a spare spare. ¿Con qué dice, hombre? Quiero saber qué dice. Yo me encargo de ella, no te dije, hombre. Ay, nos vemos, amigo. Adiós. I had a two-fold association with the good-looking Mexican I was about to meet. The first was a romantic one with a man named Juan Diaz, who very much wanted to be my husband. The other, a simple working arrangement with Commissioner Diaz, in which I was occasionally helpful as agent without portfolio. Translation? <laughs> Undercover. <laughs> Lovely Chapultepec Park was a perfect place to advance both associations. Why don't you marry me? What did you want to see me about? T. Graham. T. Graham? What about T. Graham? Grace, you must do us a favor. I need your help. You know I'm always willing to help, especially if there's a little excitement involved, but right now I have to get to the airport. <laughs> If our information is correct, he should be on your passenger list. I handle the list myself. He's due in this morning on the 635 from Macau. He'll be at the reform overnight. We booked him through to El Paso in the morning. What's wrong with him? <laughs> Isn't there any place in Mexico City where we can speak privately? This T. Graham is shrewd, dangerous, and we must know every move he makes in Mexico City. In your job as travel agent, you can manage this so we won't tip our hand. <laughs> His wife left him in Paris two months ago. Whose wife? Graham's wife. <laughs> She's been hiding here in Mexico. Friends wired her that he was arriving today. So she went to us for help and protection. She's right. He'll kill her on sight. Kill her? Why? She knows too much about him. We've suspected him for a long time as being the brains behind a lot of the illegal traffic between Mexico and Europe. But we've never been able to prove it. As a matter of fact, we haven't even been able to prove what he looks like. He must keep us informed as to where he goes and who he sees. What's he like? Oh, sounds weird. Health addict. Lives on nuts and raisins and vegetables. She says he suffers from asthma. What does this villainous vegetarian look like? He's about 6'2", brown hair. If I learn any more, I'll get in touch with you. I'll have someone from my office contact you. Now, what about dinner tonight? Really, Juan? Follow a man named Graham all day. Still have dinner with you at night. After all, I could run into complications. I'll take care of any complications can count on me, but don't take any foolish chances. <laughs> and don't forget about dinner. Mrs. Atwater. Mrs. Atwater. I'm Mrs. Atwater. Oh, hello. I'm Grace O'Connor from the International Travel Agency. I have a taxi waiting for you outside, and I'll see that your bags are taken care of. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Oh, hello. Grace O'Connor? Yes. I have your hotel reservation. I'll meet you at the taxi stand out front. Fine, I'll need a guide. Well, what time would you want it? Oh, about 1 o'clock. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Mr. Graham? I'm Mr. Graham. Mr. T. Graham? Yes. I'm Grace O'Connor from the International Travel Agency. 
I've attacked the outside. As soon as your bags are checked, I'll meet you there and we'll go directly to the hotel. Will you send my bags on ahead? I have a stop to make first. Will you be wanting a guide? No, I won't need one. I'm free this afternoon. I could show you the city personally. Incidentally, do you know where the La Scala Bar is? No, not offhand, but I'm sure I can find it. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm sure the taxi driver will know. Thank you. Say, about that guide. Oh, I'll see you at the hotel. All right. Graham had said he was going to the La Scala Bar. Peppy found the place all right. I couldn't have been more than a few minutes behind Graham. However, when I questioned the lounging character in my best Spanish, either he didn't remember seeing a tall, distinguished hombre de europeo, or he was occupied in a special world of his own. I decided I'd better have a look for myself. Ha visto usted a un hombre alto y delgado? No, sir. How about a little drink between friends? That's a nice custom between friends. However, I prefer to think of you as a stranger. Thanks, anyway. Hello? She's just coming in now. Who's calling? Hold the line, please. About that guy. I'll have one for you in an hour. Grace, it's for you. Uh, if we were back in the States, I'd be happy to be your guide. But <laughs> perhaps I'm being a bit too subtle. I get your message, but it's not included in the service. I apologize. Oh, you don't have to apologize. Excuse me, I'm wanted on the phone. Sure. Someone from Wanda. Have you seen Graham? Nothing. I lost him, but it's all right. Hello? Miss O'Connor? Yes? We have an artist's sketch of T. Graham. We'd like you to see it to be sure your passenger is the real T. Graham. I understand. Please go to the Santo Domingo Plaza right away. I know you. All right, I'll be there. Chappy, I'm going to the Santa Domingo Plaza. You keep in touch with Pepe at the taxi stand out front. And if he has to reach me, you bring the message. You can count on me. from Juan Diaz's office. I have the artist's sketch. Recognize him? Yes, that's T. Graham. Good. We're following the right man. I will report to Senor Diaz. Pepe took Mr. Graham to the Chinese restaurant on Juarez. Thanks, Chapito. You might as well drive there without freighter. Is he in the restaurant? Uh, no, I just took him out to Chapultepec. Uh, he told me to pick him up in an hour. Get back there and keep an eye on him. Okay. Buenas tardes, Miss O'Connor. ¿Qué tal? Lee, there was a man in the restaurant. He, he just left. He was rather tall, had on a, a gray suit. Oh, yes. I seated him myself. Did he meet anyone? No. He just got beef and noodles, then left. I wish I had time for some of your beef and noodles, Lee. This is my busy day. May I use your telephone before I leave? Of course. Pepe took Graham to Chapultepec. Alfredo and I will drive you there. No, that would be too obvious. I don't want him to know we're following him. Mr. James Donovan, please. Hello. Mr. Donovan, 
This is Grace O'Connor, International Travel Agency. Oh, yes. I've decided to be your guide. Could you be ready in 10 minutes? Well, I'm ready right now. Fine. Mr. Graham? Yes? This was the woman from the travel agency, Grace O'Connor. Then there's no question about who's been following me. Of course. It had to be her. Why else should she have followed your false trail to the La Scala bar? Fortunately, she fell for our trick with a sketch. Now she and the police will be following the wrong T. Graham. Possibly convinced that they have the right one. This altitude's gonna kill me. Do you know a doctor we can trust? Of course. It isn't necessary. We'll be out of Mexico in a couple of days at the most. Our plan is foolproof. Tomorrow, I'll have the extreme pleasure of settling accounts with my dear wife. Oh, it's perfect. All day today, the man the police think is T. Graham will be seeing the sights of Mexico City. Then he'll go back to the hotel and make reservations for the morning plane to El Paso. Tomorrow morning, the Mexican police will see him leave. And they'll remove the guard on Rosa. And that's the moment I've been waiting for. She'll get her reward for telling the police stories about smuggling and narcotics. I have your adrenaline here. Shall I give you a shot? No. It's not the asthma that's bothering me. It's this high altitude. I'll be all right. Besides, I'm through with adrenaline and q -bams. Diet's the answer to everything. I think we you should take that never shot. Never mind, never mind. Now listen to me. Now listen carefully. I want you to see to it that my wife's hiding place is watched every single minute. Even though she's under guard, she's a very nervous woman and she's unpredictable. If she decides to slip away and hide someplace else, I want to know it immediately. The sooner we silence her, the better for all of us. Whatever she's told the police won't be so easy to prove once she's out of the way. Using Donovan as my decoy, I did my best to keep up with the man I thought to be T. Graham as he toured all over the Ciudad de Mexico. Graham was a tireless sightseer. We went everywhere. At each place, I tried to point out the special sights to Donovan, but he was interested only in the special sight of me. Now, Donovan was a good-looking, rugged fellow, and on another occasion, I might have given him the time of day, but on this occasion, I had to keep my wits about me and my weather eye on Graham. mid-afternoon by the time we found ourselves in the Basilica of Guadalupe, watching a dance by the Aztecs.
be one of the most beautiful sights in Mexico. I can understand that. Well, there's old Graham over there. It's like he's taking in the same sights as we. You know him? Hardly. Just met him on the plane, had a couple of drinks with him. Drinks? Holy smokes, a vegetarian. Beef and noodles. What? <laughs> Lunch. That's splendid, but we have to have beef and noodles? <laughs> We're going to have to talk on the phone. Now listen to me and don't interrupt. Graham is back at the Reforma Hotel. He's in his room. But he isn't the real Graham. He smokes, drinks, needs beef and noodles. Are you sure? Artist sketch or no artist sketch? He's no more T. Graham than you are. What has an artist sketch got to do with it? Oh, no. I'll have to explain it to you later. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. But right now, we've got a worse problem on our hands. Mrs. Graham has disappeared. But it doesn't make sense. She was frightened. I guess she thought it was safer to disappear completely. She might try to contact you to get her out of the country. She knows you're helping us. If she does, get in touch either with me or with your embassy. You know, you are probably the worst guide that I've ever had. And you are the most delightful client that I've ever had. Why didn't you say so before? And I appreciate your patience. But I, uh, I have to go back to the office now. What? I tell you what, if you'll forget about lunch, I'll have dinner with you. Some woman called, but she wouldn't leave her name. I want an early plane to El Paso the first thing in the morning. Just a moment, please, Jane. I have a business appointment there. It's important you get me out of here. Hello? Yes, she's here. Well, I'll have to check and see what I can do, but I'm sure we can make the connections. Where could I reach you? It's for you. Tell him to hold on, please. When can uh -huh. you let me know? Uh -huh. In about an hour. Good. I'm dining in my room tonight, and I'm going to bed early. I'm sure it'll be all right. It's a woman. She says it's personal. She's got to talk to you. Hello, this is Grace O'Connor. Can I help you? This is Rosa Francesca Graham. Don't give me away. I'm sorry, but there isn't any space available on that flight. Would you be interested in taking a later plane? May I help you? No, oh, I'll wait. I know you're trying to help me. I must see you at once. Well, if you'd care to leave your phone number, I could call you back. Please don't tell anyone that you're meeting me. You must promise. Of course. I promise that you won't tell the police. Of course. Meet me at the Catacambali. Yes, Mr. Graham? Uh, Miss O'Connor, even a tourist flight I'll take. As I say, it's very important business, and I don't want to miss it. We'll do the very best we can. I knew that Juan would be angry with me for taking off on my own to meet Mrs. Graham. There wasn't any time to waste. The catacombs alley was deep in the heart of the old city, and I had to get there quickly. With his wife on the loose, I had a hunch that T. Graham was not far behind. You stay here. I've waited a long time for this, and I want to do the job myself. Now, I don't think the police have tailed us here, but if they should come, we'll separate and meet back at Lee's. Are you Mrs. Graham? I'm Grace O'Connor. I was afraid that I wouldn't find you here. 
You're the only one who can help me. Can't you get me on a plane to the States? It's better that I hide. He has so many ways. You could fix this while we travel under a different name. All right, but this is no place to talk. You come with me to my place. I'll figure something out. <laughs> Time to meet you, Mr. Graham. I think the sweetest sound I'd ever heard was Juan's fist meeting Graham's jaw. Adventure over. Almost. I'm sorry I took so long, but I had to be sure Mrs. Graham would sleep. You were wonderful. But why didn't you call me instead of meeting Mrs. Graham on your own? How did you know where I was? How did you ever think Mrs. Graham could escape the federal police? I don't mind you using her, but did you have to use me too? Nothing attracts bees like honey. And speaking of honey, can we now have dinner? I found a nice new little place. What's the matter? You remember me telling you that I might run into complications. Yes, but... And you remember saying that you would take care of anything that happened. Would you mind getting a table for three? For three? Hello there. I'm Peggy Castle, and I'd like to talk to you for a moment about a girl I like, Grace O'Connor. She's an exciting girl, full of zest for living. I think she can become one of the most colorful characters in television. Adventure is her middle name, which is one of the reasons she lives in Mexico City. Nowhere else in the world can you find such a mixture of cultures, Aztec, Toltec, Spanish, 
combined with a present-day international society that make it one of the most colorful and unpredictable cities in the world. Assignment Mexico will have a flavor unlike anything in television, featuring action stories with a flair, a unique background, and a girl named Grace, who agrees with Webster's description of adventure as the encountering of danger, an unusual, stirring experience, often of a romantic nature. Next week, the Tepozteco Inn, high in the frowning mountains of Tepoztlan, in the story of a group of travelers who went to see the hill town, where the descendants of Zapata and his army still live. Grace O'Connor booked the tour for them. She found herself in an adventure that she hadn't bargained for. See you in Tepoztlan.